where Dominique got his start was in our freshman media literacy course where we introduce him to the concepts of, of analyzing professional um, media, questioning it, critiquing it, and then doing some of their own. This was the first class where I was able to actually give students a chance to um, do independent projects um, where I said, you have two weeks, tell me what you're going to do and, um, and how you want to do it. And, and you know, I'll do my best to get you all the things that you need to make it happen. So I um, do the best that I can in creating open-ended projects that will allow them to choose the way that they want to go. Um, different types of projects I try to create for the different learning styles. So you do your best to create those different opportunities for students to demonstrate their skills in different ways. It's the opportunity that we have to design these courses, to, to have this freedom and the technology and the space and, and um, administration who supports this kind of work that um, gives Du Bois that, that edge over other schools. Where, where someone allows a teacher to say, okay, here's a space, what, what can you do with this? It is the small school environment that allows more teacher autonomy. Um, we have a say in what the program is going to be. The teachers and administrators believed in this and believed that this was um, a route that was needed for students to have this this opportunity to express themselves in these different ways and how it would lead to different career um, skills that they need no matter what they choose. And then it's also a communication piece that, that needs to be there between um, the student and the teacher throughout the project, doing checkups along the way, and then um, asking them to look back on the project and say, um, you know, what would you do differently, um, self-assessing. So it's all of those pieces together are what um, make learning uh, a reality, uh, and it's more of a reality than spitting back information from a book. creating a story, uh, being able to visually tell a story. Uh, those are the, they're, they're all built into the standards of the English curriculum um, to communicate through, through different forms of media. It's, it's problem solving skills, you're watching that. You're watching how they handle pr um, situations within a group, cooperative learning. You can assess all of those pieces um, all the way along as they're doing that. And then the technology on top of it is just, you know, handling, using the technology that he has available and manipulating it um, the best way that he can to make it work. Um, and those are skills that will transfer to other forms of technology, no matter what he's learning in the future or using in college or at a workplace. He's had frustration with um, some of his coworkers, and um, you watch them sometimes get frustrated with each other. Um, that's the kind of um, group skills and cooperative learning skills that you see that are so much a part of, of the workplace that he needs to have for his future. That's one of the things that I have seen Dominique be willing to do uh, and spend a lot of time on where he's like, you know, he'll come back to me and he'll say, I was thinking about this, I don't think this scene's going to work here, I want to change it and do it there. Um, those are the ideal skills that you look for in any student willing to rewrite a paper, um, rethink their work. Anytime you can ask students to think about their own learning and defend the, um, their growth, um, that is going to uh, make them stronger uh, and uh, stronger advocates for their own learning as they continue on in college or, or in workplace skills. When we started this film process, I kept challenging him to um, draw everything out, get me details that I didn't want to, I wasn't going to sit there and spend my Saturdays or my weekends with him, evenings with him, if he was just going to play with the camera until he got it right. I wanted to, to know that he had a plan. And so it's just that pushing, um, and, and he just ran with it.
So, so a lot of it is he has internal motivation that, um, boy, I, I didn't have to do much. <laughs>such confidence in who he is, um, what his skills are. You know, he has um, gained such a sense of, of his place and what he can do, and, and, um, and he's, he's not afraid to keep trying and, and changing and expanding and, and getting involved with, like, the Student Speak Out project was a new area for him. He loves his one way of making films, has been action films and things like that. But then he's like, I've got to try a documentary, Miss Ambrose. I've got to try this. I've got to make sure I can, you know, um, diversify my portfolio and things. So, um, so he's willing to to expand that. Um, but uh, that came from that confidence of just kind of discovering who he is. For more student voices on video, visit educationevolving.org/studentvoices.